welcome dns uh, in previous lecture uh, we have seen about we have studied about the uh, milk fat we have seen the nutritive value of the milk fat uh, the how milk fat plays very important role uh, in providing the various functions for the body okay uh, we have seen the importance of uh, the term uh, of uh, fat uh, the, the fat contains the uh, fat soluble uh, uh, vitamin that is the ADA and we have seen the importance of the vitamin ADA uh, for our body then also we have seen the new fats and different things the CLX uh, which uh, fight against the cancer producing cell and uh, it plays uh, uh, as a anti uh, effect. Uh, and in this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss or uh, the study uh, about the milk sugar. This is the second component which uh, plays a very important role or which is a very important uh, plays very important uh, role in nutrition of the uh, human being okay so let's see about the milk sugar uh, milk sugar means the lactose and it stimulates the growth of the lactobacilli in the large intestine these organisms synthesize many of the vitamins. It means that when uh, we consume the milk, we take the milk, uh, the milk, uh, we may feel the taste of milk, that is the sweetish taste of the milk, and thus that uh, sweetish taste of the milk is generally uh, produced uh, due to the presence of this milk sugar, that is called as and the importance of this uh, milk lactose is that it uh, stimulates the growth of lactobacilli. Uh, they stimulates the growth of the lactobacillus bacilli and uh, in the large intestine. And as a result, this organism synthesizes the uh, many of the B vitamins means we are consuming the milk it means that we are getting the lactose in our body and that milk contains the lactose okay so this lactose when get entry into the large intestine then this lactose stimulates a uh, stimulates the lactobacilli which is present in the large intestine and when they get stimulated these lactobacilli synthesizes or these microorganisms synthesizes many of the vitamin B vitamins in large intestine okay the lactose improves the absorption of several important minerals like this is the this is the second function of milk sugar or the lactose the first one is this lactose stimulates the lactobacilli in the large intestine and these lactobacilli or organism synthesizes the many vitamin b many b vitamins and second one the second important uh, important of this lactose or milk sugar is it improves the absorption of several important minerals what are those minerals the number one is calcium number two phosphorus and number three magnesium so it means that lactose helps to absorb the many important 
minerals and or that is are uh, some examples are calcium phosphorus and the magnesium so the lactose helps to absorb these minerals third point it yields one molecule each of glucose and galactose upon hydrolysis means when the hydrolysis process is completed it yields one molecule of glucose and the galactose both of which are convertible into glycogen in the human body galactose is then now let's see what is the importance of the galactose which is produces here okay the galactose the galactose is necessary for the synthesis of the galactoses of medullar sheaths of nerve tissues and myelin formation of cerebrosides in infants it means that for the formation of cerebrosides in infants this galactose plays very important role it is very necessary okay because this galactose is necessary for the synthesis of galactosidases of brain and medullar sheaths of nerve tissues and myelin of cerebrosides in infants infants lactose is digested and absorbed from the intestine very slowly its uh, digestion is very slowly and abs absorbed in intestine just we have to keep in mind lactose is digested and absorbed from the intestine very slowly the low solubility of lactose also makes it uh, less irritating to the stomach and intestine than the highly soluble sugar it thus makes milk valuable in diets during the treatment of ulcers of the stomach and duodenum okay uh, what happens due to this the low solubility of lactose also makes it means that it has low solubility and as it has low solubility it makes less irritating to the stomach some people generally suffers uh, uh, people suffer from the intest uh, 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 some people suffer from the ulcers of the stomach so for those people uh, this milk or the lactose play very important role because uh, the value of lactose uh, is very low and therefore it makes less irritating as their solubility is very low so it makes less irritating to the stomach and intestinal mucosa than the highly soluble sugar if uh, there is another sugar which is the highly soluble so uh, it will uh, it will be very irritating as compared to this uh, sugar that is the lactose or the milk sugar because uh, it has low solubility as compared to other sugars thus and uh, therefore it makes uh, the milk valuable in diet during the treatment of ulcers of the stomach and duodenum if the people uh, if some people are suffer the ulcers of the stomach and duodenum for those people uh, this milk sugar plays very important we have seen that uh, it has very low solubility and uh, therefore it makes less irritating uh, to the stomach and the intestinal mucosa therefore uh, the milk plays very important role for the patients or, or the person who uh, who are suffering from the ulcers of the stomach and the duodenum so uh, this is all about the nation so, rewind or just a rewind uh, what uh, we have studied till now we have seen that uh, the milk contain uh, milk sugar means the lactose and it stimulates the lactobacillus in the large intestine this is the first point and uh, these 
micro organisms synthesizes the many b vitamins okay it also helps to uh, absorb the several uh, minerals like calcium phosphorus and magnesium this is the second point it, the first point it stimulates uh, the lactobacilli which is present in uh, intestine and uh, these microorganisms helps to synthesize many b vitamins this is the first point second point uh, it helps to absorb the many several minerals like the calcium phosphorus and magnesium this is the second point uh, third point it yields one molecule of galactose uh, glucose and galactose okay on hydrolysis as it produces the two product that is the glucose and galactose this galactose the second this galactose is necessary for the synthesis of galactosidase of brain and the medullar sheets of nerve tissues and the myelin formation of uh, cerebrocytes in infants so uh, for the synthesis of this galactosidase the galactose is very important and this galactosidase of brain and medullar sheets of nerve tissues and myelin formation of cerebral uh, cerebrocytes in infants this is the third point and uh, the fourth point is like lactose is digested and absorbed from intestine very slowly just we have to keep in mind uh, it digests very slowly in intestine just a simple point and the last but not least as the solubility of this uh, milk sugar is very low so uh, it makes less irritating to stomach and intestinal mucosa. It means that this sentence itself indicates that it is very useful for the people who are suffering from the ulcers of stomach and duodenum as milk sugar or the lactose which irritates very low or less irritating is generally occurs due to this milk sugar so uh, this is all about the milk sugar so in this way uh, we have seen the two important milk component that is the milk fat and the milk sugar in uh, uh, next lecture we will uh, see in detail about or we will learn in detail about the milk proteins okay so till today uh, it is uh, enough thank you very much